my background, I had a good academic uh, beginning at Swarthmore College, went on to do graduate work at University of Hawaii with a major in theater. It included teaching at Brandeis University and Yale University and several of the national acting schools in Europe, Denmark and on Iceland. Uh, I have always had an interest in movement and emotion, worked teaching Tai Chi, and then about 25, 30 years ago began doing massage and body work. A little over 20 years ago I became a rolfer, and almost 20 years ago I started working with craniosacral therapy. Ten years ago I started working with the French teacher Elaine Gayen and have had courses with him once or twice a year, sometimes three times a year for the last ten years. Uh, I have a school in Denmark. We're a group of twelve teachers. We teach in six European countries. We started teaching in Philadelphia, California, and we have a clinic part-time and teach occasionally on Maui. Our work with the uh, autistic kids and with stress and depression are unique, I believe, in the world uh, because we are combining techniques from the French craniosacral, techniques which I have developed from the French craniosacral, along with the work of Stephen Porges with the new understanding of the autonomic nervous system, which he calls the polyvagal nervous system. Also, from observation and conversations with some of my friends who also work with kids with cranial problems, the first vertebrae is pushed forward in relationship to the base of the skull. Uh, this has to be approached in a very special way because most massage techniques, some chiropractic techniques, uh, some craniosacral techniques from other schools uh, result in pushing the first vertebrae even more forward. The problem is to coax it back. Okay, so here looking at the drawing, we see the skull and the back of the neck, and we see four muscles on each side. These are the suboccipital muscles, and they, to a large extent, determine the relationship of the base of the skull to the first vertebrae. And we work to bring about a balance of these muscles, which in turn repositions the first vertebrae. We work at the back of the neck for several reasons. One of them, I believe, is to restore blood flow to the brain stem. The brain stem is that part of the brain where the five cranial nerves originate, the cranial nerves that have to do with social engagement, including the fifth and seventh cranial nerves.